In this lesson we're going to rederive the motor model, but this time we're going to take a different approach. We're going to develop a block diagram derivation of the motor model. To help us do this, we're going to grab the, um, the model that we had come up with before as a reference point. And we'll begin by looking at the input side, which is going to be, in this case, we're going to claim that we apply a voltage VM. That's going to be our input. This voltage <coughs> is going to be applied to a combination of three elements, LA, RA, and EA. So what we're going to do first, I think what I want to do to simplify this is we're going to ignore, we'll add in LA afterwards, but we're going to ignore LA on first pass. Okay, so we will have no LA. So VM um, is applied to the electrical side of the motor and we have that the armature voltage, EA, is going to be the difference between VM and the voltage lost. Oops, sorry, no, I wrote that wrong. The coil resistance voltage, VRA, is going to be the difference between the applied motor voltage, VM, and the armature voltage, EA. EA we know to be due to Km times omega m. The voltage across V uh, across RA when multiplied by 1 over RA will produce a current IA. And when that current is multiplied by Km, that produces tau i, the induced torque on the mechanical side. From this induced torque, we subtract an amount tau s. Furthermore, if we're going to be attaching a load, we'll also subtract tau load. I could have written this as one summing junction with uh, three inputs, but I've decided to write it as uh, two separate ones in this case. Now, the net torque after we subtract tau s and tau load will be tau Bm plus tau Jn. If we subtract tau Bm, oops, then the output will be tau Jn. And now if we recall that Omega m is equal to 1 over Sjm times tau Jm. What is this? I guess I could write this in the time domain. But what am I writing? I'm writing that omega m of t is equal to 1 over Jm times the integral of tau Jm. Right, but I'm going to do this in the s domain here. So if we scale this by 1 over Jm and then we integrate it, I represent the integration by 1 over s, the output is omega m. We note that tau Jm was the difference between uh, this input, which I'm calling uh, tau Bm plus 
tau jm and tau bm which is coming back as a feedback path. How what is tau bm? Tau bm is bm, the viscous coefficient, times omega m. And we now have omega m. Let me actually redraw this one last time here. Omega m comes out. Now we see that we have this additional omega m feedback path right here. And there is our block diagram derived motor model. In many ways I find this is easier to derive than uh, well I guess it assumes some understanding of the uh, of the balance, the torque balance equation but <clears throat> it seems pretty intuitive to construct it this way. Um, let me get rid of this right now here. Okay, so that's that is our um, model without LA. Let's add in LA. Okay, so include LA. We start out with VM again. and we subtract EA and then we have to subtract VRA and then this is VLA okay this comes from VM is equal to VRA plus VLA plus EA. So if I solve for VLA, I have VM minus VRA minus V oh, minus EA. And I have chosen to write it, to split it between two summing junctions, although it could have been written as one. Now we apply the voltage VLA to the inductor and we know that the inductor voltage VLA of T is equal to 1 over LA the integral um, sorry let me rewrite that <laughs> uh, we know that VLA of T is equal to LA times d i l a d t which is d d i a d t all right we can also write that i a and we'll call this i a i a is equal to 1 over l a the integral of v l a so using the voltage v l a just like we did for the rotational inertia, we'll divide it by LA and then we will integrate it and that will produce IA. We now note that VRA is found by multiplying IA times RA. which we add now okay and now at this point uh, we can return to the original model and we can copy the rest of it I don't know that it will fit Let's see if we can get it to fit Okay, and then we have our K M going all the way to the output omega M. So this is our complete block diagram model. Okay, and we will use this in a future lesson. 
and, and show that actually uh, different relationships between input and outputs, be it VM or the load and omega m or calculating IA, all of these can be determined very easily from the block diagram directly. It might look messy right now and look like what's the point of this, but uh, in the end it's actually a very compact way to express the model and from this we can readily derive a number of different transfer functions that will be useful in uh, describing the performance and behavior of our of our motor.